When people go into hospitals, they're picking up bacterial infections from all the surfaces that they're exposed to in the hospital. If we actually inhibit this, then there's the potential of saving many, many lives. In fact, drug-resistant hospital superbugs claim 90,000 lives a year. Treating them costs $5 billion. So how do you turn a perfect predator into a lifesaver? The trail takes us to Tony Brennan's labs at the University of Florida. How are you doing, Jim? Pretty good, Dr. Brennan. This is how the sharklet works with barnacles. So the idea here was to create a surface so that when an organism swims down to the surface, these features make it so they don't have any place to land. This is why the sharks stay clean and the Navy is investing in their research. But hospital bacteria are far smaller than barnacles. Couldn't they just slip between the ridges of the sharklet? Our discovery is that our sharklet pattern inhibits those bacteria from growing on the surface. On the smooth material, you've got a biofilm, large biofilms covering the surface. Over here we go looking, and still we're starting to see some of the bacteria down there, but they seem to be isolated from each other. They don't form the biofilm. That means they're not going to be infectious. Remember, this isn't some sort of miracle surface. This is modeled on shark skin. And what helps the shark to be a super efficient killer will actually save human lives, thanks to a bit of lateral thinking. We're on the forefront of discovering how Mother Nature really makes the decision whether something should go on a surface or not. That's, that's, that's just phenomenal. That's, that's the big one.